Today, I'm gonna see how accurate the Rapsodo mobile launch monitor really is. What's happening? Panda Nation, Peter Von Panda here. This is my Rapsodo MLM mobile launch monitor. Hello, I'm the mobile launch monitor. <laughs> Now, I really like this. There's a couple reasons that I love it. It's really compact. It works really well. As far as I can tell, the data that I've taken when I've been at the range or on the golf course has been pretty good. And it takes video of your shot, so you can review that later, which is really great when I share it with you. And it will do shot tracking if you're at the range or a golf course and you're actually hitting a real ball out into the great blue yonder. Now, one of the things that I've always wondered here is that I've read good things about the Rapsodo launch monitor in terms of its accuracy versus a lot of the other cheaper launch monitors out there. I've actually used the Garmin and some of the other ones but sometimes the data has been pretty questionable on them so i wanted to test this out and so i went and i used a gc2 as comparison because i know that the gcs have a pretty good reputation for being pretty accurate now i will say nothing is completely infallible and in fact on the gc2 and on the gc quad i have seen some data which just doesn't make sense so obviously anything can be wrong now, a lot of it is dependent on lighting conditions and the club and the speed that you swing at but in general i think the gcs are pretty good so i wanted to use this to record every shot shot at the bay and I exported every shot from the GC as well and I wanted to compare them because I found some interesting things here. So on average the Foresight GC2 said I had a ball speed of 119.9. On average the Rapsodo said I had a ball speed that was 2.5 miles an hour faster than the GC. So pretty close. That's not actually that bad. In terms of launch angle, the GC2 said I had an average launch angle 16.4 degrees and the Rapsodo said that I actually launched it higher 5 degrees than the GC2. Now in terms of total distance, the GC2 said that I averaged a total distance of 202.2 yards and the Rapsodo was slightly pessimistic saying that I averaged 10.7 yards shorter than the GC2 said. Now I actually think that if the launch angle is lower then the total distance calculation is also going to be lower and so those seem to be in line for the most part. Now I was looking into this data and I actually hit a couple different shafts. I actually hit an airspeeder shaft as well as the autoflex shaft and I want to break up the data between a regular graphite shaft, something that's pretty common, something that you are probably using versus the autoflex shaft which is more rare and does some weird things, has some weird kick points, things like that because I think that explains some of the differences here on what the Rapsodo was seeing versus the GC2. So when I looked at the data for my Fujikura Airspeed 40R shaft i actually saw that the foresight gc2 said that i had an average ball speed of 122.3 miles an hour and the rapsoda was actually slightly more optimistic and reported speeds 1.8 mile per hour faster than the gc2 now the gc2 said that i had an average launch angle of 16.5 degrees the rapsoda said that i actually launched it 9.8 degrees higher than that on average and the Foresight GC2 said that I had a total distance of 200.8 yards. And the Rapsodo said that I had an average distance 5.2 yards shorter than that. So I think that extra launch angle that it was seeing meant that the ball was dropping just a little bit shorter than the GC2 was calculating. Now, I will say that 5.2 yards, a total distance difference between the Rapsodo and the GC2 using my Fujikura shaft is actually pretty close. I'm actually pretty happy with an average distance calculation that's only five yards different between these two. That's actually pretty impressive. Now I want to talk about my autoflex shaft here because now if I look at the autoflex shot data, this is where it starts getting a little funny. The Foresight GC2 said that I had an average ball speed of 122.3 miles an hour and the Rapsodo said that I had an average ball speed that was three miles an hour faster than that. So it gave me a little bit more optimistic numbers on the ball coming off the face. On launch angle, the GC2 said that I averaged 16.5 degrees and the Rapsodo said that I averaged just 1.6 degrees higher than that. So actually the launch angle was actually pretty close between these two, closer than it was on my Fujikura shaft. However, total distance reported by the GC2 was 200.8 yards versus the Rapsodo, which said that I shot 14.4 yards shorter than the GC2. So even though the ball speed was a little faster, the launch angle was a little higher, the total distance was quite a bit shorter using this autoflex shaft. So I think this autoflex shaft here really caused some of the big differences. So if I look at my Fujikura graphite shaft and just look at those numbers and say, hey, 
this may be off by about five yards in total distance i'm actually pretty happy with that it's good enough for government work it's good enough for me knowing that when i'm at the range the distance that this is reporting is pretty close to what i'm actually hitting is actually good enough for me to help me improve my game where i'm surprised at this auto flex shaft which tends to give me real world benefits like longer distance than the fujikura shaft the rapsodo wasn't seeing that so i'm not sure if there are slight differences here that we get to see in the real world that people haven't really been able to put their finger on which is why it's so hard to copy the auto flex shaft but for whatever reason the numbers with the rapsodo and an auto flex shaft seem to have the widest variation from the gc2 but between the rapsodo and the gc2 on most of our most popular golf club hardware I think it's pretty close. So I'm really still very happy with the Rap Soto. I don't plan to change this because I like getting the footage too to share with you. But overall, I'm pretty happy with what this does. It's fairly affordable and the nice thing about this is that some of my friends have also downloaded the Rapsoda MLM app and can use this device borrow it when they go to the range when they go to the golf course and get some of the data for themselves so it's not just like a single piece of hardware that's tied exclusively to me so if you think the Rapsoda is going to help your golf game too I'll put a link to it in the description below Peter Von Panda out we can discover more and explore so much deeper Hey!